It is a great satisfaction to greet you again, I hope you and your pet are well. Today we will talk about the following. How do I know if my dog has Addison's disease? Hypoadrenocorticism, also known as Addison's disease, is a condition that develops in dogs and is extremely rare in cats. Today we are going to learn more about its signs and treatment. What does hypoadrenocorticism mean? Breaking down the word, hypo means low and adreno means of the adrenal gland. The adrenal glands secrete hormones and have two distinct areas, the cortex, which is responsible for the production of steroids, and the medulla, which is responsible for the production of adrenaline. The body needs both hormones when it is under stress. Animals with Addison's disease have an adrenal cortex that cannot produce enough steroid hormone in response to stress. What are the signs of Addison's disease? Patients with this disease cannot increase the production of steroid hormones, cortisol, during times of stress. This means they may have low blood sugar and experience weakness, fatigue, and even collapse. Other common symptoms include Diarrhea Vomiting Weight loss Loss of appetite Additionally, there is another steroid hormone produced by the adrenal cortex that regulates salt balance. It is usually missing in most, but not all, cases of Addison's disease. If this does not occur, patients may become dehydrated and experience arrhythmias. In some circumstances, these symptoms are life-threatening. Addison's Crisis Occasionally, the disease takes on a life-threatening presentation that includes severe weakness, seizures, continuous vomiting, profuse diarrhea, and collapse. This is called an Addisonian crisis and is considered an emergency. This happens due to severe electrolyte imbalance due to the persistent lack of cortisol and aldosterone in the dog's body. Addison's crisis can be fatal for dogs if not addressed immediately. Dogs experiencing this crisis need to be treated intensively and hospitalized for a couple of days to stabilize the condition. Addison's disease can be a great imitator, meaning it can look like many other diseases. It often appears over a long period of time and may increase or decrease, sometimes the pet may appear normal. How is Addison's disease treated? The good news is that Addison's disease is very treatable. The steroid hormone can be replaced by a daily pill and the mineral corticoid can be replaced by another pill or a monthly injection. Medications such as deoxycorticosterone are one of the medications approved to treat Addison's disease in dogs. It is an injectable medication, usually given every three to four weeks, that replaces aldosterone in the dog system. Oral administration of glucocorticoids, such as prednisone or prednisolone, is used to help maintain adequate aldosterone and cortisol levels in a dog with Addison's disease. There are medications, such as fludrocortisone that can replace both cortisol and aldosterone in the system and are administered orally, suitable for dogs that do not tolerate monthly injections well. Unlike some hormonal diseases, dogs receiving treatment for Addison's disease do not necessarily have to modify their diet or activity levels. If treatment is successful, the dog can live a normal life for many years, even after an Addison's crisis. Your veterinarian will regularly monitor your dog's blood values and electrolyte levels and adjust the dosage of medications accordingly to ensure that the treatment is working and that your dog does not experience any side effects. The prognosis for canine Addison's disease, if properly diagnosed and treated accordingly, is good to excellent. Early diagnosis is key to effective and successful treatment when it comes to Addison's disease in dogs. If your dog shows any of the clinical signs mentioned above, it is best to visit your veterinarian for a proper examination. It is a pleasure to inform you and help you, if you have not subscribed to the channel you should do it now, take care of yourself and your furry friend, a hug and until the next video.